All right, now time for another chapter. Let's get this bad girl over with. Boom! Abe Lincoln must die. <laughs> Which is by far the best chapter in the season. Skunkape presents A Tale from the Archives of Telltale Games. Reborn. I will feast on your entrails and devour your soul. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> you know, Max, sneaking the bug into that exorcism was an uncharacteristic stroke of genius. Demonic possession is the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Unless what? you're the one possessed. Oh, Commissioner. Uh, no, I that was uh, Max's aunt. Uh, yes, 14 packs a day. Now get over here, girl. Skull fucking yes. for everyone. No. <laughs> yes. Sweet suffering Saint Sebastian on the sousaphone in a short story by Susan Sontag. We're on our way. Let me guess. Our friendly neighborhood demon just burnt down another monastery. No, Max. We have a far more bloodthirsty adversary this time. The President of the United States of America. Who? The man's gone nuts. He's enacting all kinds of crazy new laws. What else is new? Federally mandated group hugs before, during, and after all major sporting events. So? He's curtailing civil liberties, threatening the environment. Hey, that makes three of us. And he's about to introduce mandatory gun registration. Get the keys. <laughs> oh, there's my vapor rub wind. Never use vapor rub as, as friggin' lubricant. I'm just gonna warn you on that one. And here we have a modern mutation in the jackal genetic line. This is Kiki, the horn jacker. As you notice, she has grown a pair of horns upon her head. You may ask what they are for. No, they are not for self-defense or for something like that. They're for gripping onto during intense mating sessions. You know what they may also do? You may grip them firmly if you want to skull fuck them. If you need to skull fuck a jackal, they will not resist if you grab the base of both hands. I have both horns like a handle. They're made to be gripped from either front or back. That's why we call this species the fuck jacket. I have to point out, Sam, that we could have avoided this gruesome accident Please. if you just let me drive. Support your and fuck I jackals. have to point out that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you hadn't jumped on my head <laughs> shouting Jersey Devil, Jersey Devil, and firing your gun out the window. I swear that woman was a dead ringer for him. Well, here we are, standing in an open field west of the White House. Let's go bring the hammer down on that so-called commander-in-chief. My boss was a woman. I was a chick in the 40s. I hate everyone equally. There is no one alive who can comprehend my sexual preference, so ch ch, -ch check your privilege. We're not passing what up. <laughs> so, no one's saying anything. Boxing glove. Hey, my missing boxing glove. It's always in the last place you look. <laughs> no, it's at the donation, man. No one cares. I'm thinking, I don't fucking care. Any golf balls? Nope. I love putting my balls in the hole. Bitches love cannons. Hmm. White paint, Christmas lights, and a small It was barbecue. a joke, Sensei. Everything somebody would need to renovate, decorate, and then accidentally burn the place to the ground. Sounds like a good idea to me. Later. Agent Super Bowl, who comes back every season after this. Suspect yourself. Yes. That's so Madonna. So, so, suspect hey, this phone only takes Susan B. Anthony dollars. It must be one of those stupid 555 phones. Yes, actually. 555-1984. Hey, Sam, I was did I ever old. mention how I've memorized pi to 1,000 decimal places? It's 3.14159265358979. do you have a piece of paper handy? You want to write down the phone number? I remember the number. I want to write myself a reminder to smother you with a pillow in your sleep. Never smother bunnies. Cuddle bunnies. Bunnies need love. Step aside, buddy. Freelance police. Just a moment, sir. 
Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Possible situation at the front door. Talking dog and uh, rabbit trying to gain access to the OO. Please advise, over. Super Bowl? Yeah, that's a negative on the access permission, sir. I'll have to ask you and your little friend to step away from the White House. Doggy Daddy, this is yes. Loose Cannon. Request permission to pants this goon. Yes. Over. Before we try physical violence, Max, let's try dazzling the man with our razor-sharp wit and labyrinthine logical conundrums. What? Ah, emotional violence. Good plan. Let us in, pal. We're freelance police. Here Doggy to save Daddy. the president. I thought we were here to stop the president by any means necessary. I was going to wait to mention that part, Max. Either way, sir, you can't get inside. Orders. Seriously, Jack, let us in. It's a national emergency. No can do, sir. Hmm, it's going to be tougher than I thought to trick this goon and get inside. I heard that, sir. And it's going to be impossible. Hey, no fair. You're not supposed to listen to casual asides. It's in the job description, sir. Report all stage whispers, soliloquies, and casual asides to the proper authorities. Curse them! They've thought of everything! Finest security force in the world, sir. Not really. Don't you get bored guarding this door? It's a rewarding job, sir. Doing my part. Keeping the president safe. Hey, Super yeah, Bowl! I'd House. like you to smell these two handkerchiefs and tell me which one smells more like chloroform. Not now, Max. Trick question, they're both chloroform. Did you call yourself Super Bowl? Codename, sir. I'm a bouncer. Secret Service humor. And who's Papa Bear? Section Chief. Runs the operation. Protects the president. Super Bowl. I get it. I just got it too. I want to talk to your manager. Going straight, Karen. No can do, sir. He's with the president. I've had enough of this. Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Perp's exiting zone four now. Seem disgruntled. Stay on the lookout. Over. Now can we push him down and beat him with sewage-filled garbage bags until he runs crying into the reflecting pool? Tempting, Max. But these Secret Service guys hold a grudge. Give Super Bowl some Taco Bell, then he'll run off screaming. Hey, Jimmy Two Teeth. Jimmy? Oh, great! What are you guys doing here? Oh, you, just you? saving the world. What are you doing here? I happen to take my vacations at the White House, and I needed a little R and R. Speaking of which, beat it. Hey, Jimmy. Beat it. Hey, Jimmy. Beat it. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. We gotta get it. a picture of chances as female form hey, doing this. Beat it. Hey, Jimmy. Beat it. Sending that to chances. Damn it, where'd I put my thing? There's that one, and that one. Where's the snake? The White House pool. Most secure waiting pool on Earth. What's a cute one? What's snake? Where are we what are going, Sam? Back to the office. Back to the office. I'll drive! Not while I'm alive. Exactly! How do I make people look stressed? I don't know what the hell's going on. What the hell are you even talking about? Is she now? Dating service. Nope, we're going to run away from there. Stay the way from the dating service. Lefties. Lefty's tool rental shop is still vacant. Remember that afternoon when I put on a baseball cap and spent hours out here playing fizzball with Lefty? If you mean that night when you put on a hockey mask and spent hours chasing Lefty down the street with a chainsaw, then yes. Precious memories. Give me all you got. Well, I've been overpetting the snake every morning then. Jesus Christ, I can't get out of bed without doing it five or six times. Actually, I never knew that. Never heard that before. <coughs> Ooh, sorry. Ooh. It's our favorite shifty card cheat, Leonard Steak Charmer. Hey, How you Leonard. doing, Leonard? Good, good. Do we feed him? It's our favorite shifty. How you doing, Leonard? Good, good. We feed him. Whee! All right, just don't tell the rat hole. We can go in there and try. Anybody it. home? 
Guess not. Who are you calling, Sam? Little Mr. Pizza. Mr. Pizza. Two medium pineapple and asbestos pie, no. please. No. Oh, yeah? Well, same to you, jerk. What'd he say? Thank you, and have a nice day. I'm Who are you calling, Sam? That'd be awesome if that pizza actually showed up sometime in the game. The White House. White House. Agent Super Bowl speaking. We've got two very special agents coming to the White House today. One is tall, well-dressed, and devilishly handsome, and the other is Max. Grant them full clearance, over. Can't do that without approval form signed in triplicate, sir. Regulations. I just wanted to see what he was going to say. Who are you calling, Sam? The White House. White House. Have you checked the baby? Have you checked the baby? Yes, sir. Sleeping soundly. Oh, good job then. All right. Who are you calling? The White House. The White House. White House. Hello, please hold. Hello, please hold. Roger that. Our phone bill is sure going to be expensive this month. It's okay, Max. I've been paying them out of your retirement fund. What? Well, I guess fuck Sam. I mean, Max. I mean, how much are they actually paid, anyways? I'm curious. Oh, God. Whoa. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. I want to buy something. Take my credit card. Put me on your mailing list. Anyone you want me to recruit? You're supposed to give the Stockholm Syndrome a few days to kick in, Max. Who has that kind of time? What's a big celebrity like you doing on our street, you bliss? Why, I'm spreading the great news about prison. Oh my god, he shines now. Do you notice that? The magic and science of unlocking the harmony of colors for a revolution in holistic personal and interpersonal well-being. Yes. Now translated into 15,000 different languages, including Esperanto. Oh, hell yeah, Hooray! Esperanto, the dead language. Hooray! Are the books selling well? Selling? You can't put a price on imagination. What a bet. You can't sell the wonder of a daydream or the laughter of a child. Well, I'll try. He's right. I've tried. What was your book about again? Emetics? The Handbook for Multicolored Happiness? It's about everything. And nothing at all. Oh. God, you scare me. Show us a magic trick, you Bliss. Magic is easy when the colors of your soul are... Yeah, yeah, less chatter, more magic. Okay, how about I disappear? Well, your mind reading is obviously still working. It is. <laughs> now watch me as I vanish. Except you won't be able to watch me because I'll be gone. Oh! <laughs> All right. Hey, a free home delivery sign. I will take that. Yeah, I just can't think Why of what shaking, it is. Bosco? Ah, greetings, comrades, dog, and rabbit. I'm having trouble placing the accent this month. Mid-Atlantic states? The San Fernando Valley? Hmm, I get more of a vague Baltic vibe. Something in a light check pattern. Ha ha ha! Comrade Maximilian makes the funny joke. I am Vladimir Ilyevich Bosco Vorsky, Russian proprietor of workers' glorious warehouse of inconvenience, no? Yes. No. But now I make new start in America, which I love. Hail so the captain of this country no of America. To sophisticated targeting equipment at me. So why the Russian disguise? What's with the Soviet bloc, Bosco? It's perfectly natural, comrades. I work with the American government in spirit of Glasnost. They know. They know. Who knows what? The, the feds, who? man. Uncle Sam. The government's watching us all the time. So that's why I always feel an overbearing presence just out of my field of vision, watching and judging my every move. Well, that's, that's just me, the player. Max. No, that's just... <laughs> oh, okay, Eris, get on your knees. I'll be there shortly. What? Yeah, Scientologists like like if you even miss, if you even say wrong thing wrong about them, they get all over you. Same as that one church, the Westboro Church, 
where they are literally they I think they both are just money racketing schemes. Why is the government spying on you, Bosco? I don't know. Maybe it's because I know too much. Um just humor the poor guy, Max. But I make new start in America, which I love. So it's no need to target me. Ah. Uh. I suppose you've got some ridiculously complex whirly gig to defend yourself against the feds? Yep. It's the people, comrades. Workers we overthrow fascist regime. What about us loafers? All are welcome. And I'm sitting here trying to transform victory. Black Arachnia while workers the dialogue goes unite. on. And I'm failing because I do not like the transformation scheme of Black Arachnia. We will number in tens of millions. That's a lot of Bolsheviks. No, it's all true. Plus, I'm working on a satellite missile defense system. Missile defense system? Isn't that more than a little bit overkill? Nope. Yet, we are strong like bad against attack. I'm working on modifying b tads part two. Your anti-delivery system? Yep. That's right. It was already programmed to keep people from delivering goods to the store. So I just went into the database and changed beef jerky to intercontinental ballistic missiles. How does that so stop? So now anything? anyone can just deliver a blimp load of beef jerky to your store without fear of reprisal? You small you know, had beef jerky. for freedom. It smelled funny, so I never want to put it in my mouth. We want to buy something. Ah, is evil the necessary private enterprise? What do you got? His most glorious invention, comrades. Is useful for, um, how you say, questioning. 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 His true serum makes easy even the most difficult, how do you say, uh, Interrogation. 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 Truth serum? Is this another one of your half-baked overpriced gimmicks, or does it actually work? They've all actually worked. Oh. We'll make anyone get rid of inhibitions and telling, uh, how you say, complete and honest truth. Yeah, get you drunk your as fuck. Your accent sucks. Hey, it's already working. The funny thing is, is you can see the truth serum right behind him whenever he's talking. We'd like that truth serum, comrade Boscovich. He's good. Price is eight right on nine rubles. How much is that in real money? One hundred million dollars. I think your rate of exchange is a little off, Bosco Borski. Fall of Berlin Wall brings great strength to our economy. Yes, it does. Do you have any potatoes in the likeness of Catholic saints? Yet. Do you have any souvenir snow globes from the mystery vortex? Yes. Yet. Oh, was that an actual game that you could do with the Souvenir Soul Globes? I swear that, was, that was like one of the games. Brand cereal? Yet. Lobster cereal, no. Do you have any Tagalog rhyming dictionaries abridged? Yet. Do you have any wiener cozies? Da, we just get shipments of those in this week. Let me look. Yet. Oh, boy! Oh, wait, did you say wiener cozies? I thought you said Navajo blankets. No, we're all out of wiener cozies. Do you have any Navajo blankets? No, yet. Bosco's not greedy. He's not greedy at all. He explains it in the final episode. He explains it in the final episode of this of this season. And he literally explains it as, look, I just keep asking for amount of money and you always pay it, so... Do you have any potatoes in the likeness of Catholic saints? Yet. Do you have any... 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 Wing ah. Oh, boy! Oh, wait. No, we're... Do you have any Navajo? Yet. Do you have any potatoes? Yet. Nothing for us right now. See you later, Bosco. He's no Bosco, comrades. He's only loyal worker Bosco Vorsky, who is no threat to glorious American government whatsoever. All right. So who wants an issue of hot money? What do we have here? Organ Trader? Self-Loathing Weekly? Hot Bunny? Ooh, let me see that. Hot Bunny? No, Self-Loathing Weekly. Special. Buy one, get one. What a deal. I guess we should get back to work. Max, I've got a great idea involving... Go on. Maybe enough. I swear there was a sign out here that said buy, buy one, get one free. Yep. They only censored it in the first episode. 
What is wrong with me? What did I do wrong this time? Dating services, yes. Anything you like here this time? That's where I do video intros for my dating service. The closet? Why's the door locked. It's locked? Damn it. I don't even have a key to that door. <laughs> Fine. I'll open it for you with my lockpick. Here, the tiger, my ass. Hey, Sybil. What's new in the world of frequent random career reassessment? Hi, fellas. I'm really excited. I found the perfect job for me. You don't say. That's right. I, Sybil Pandemic, am now a professional matchmaker. Kick I ass. thought I smelled phosphorus. I thought I smelled that joke coming down the turnpike, burning oil and dragging its muffler. It's Jesus a dating Christ. service, Max. I figured that if a smart, successful yep. career woman like me could Such be having bloody. so much trouble finding a date, there must be plenty of other people who could use help. All right, so you can't find a date? You're having trouble finding your soulmate? Yes. You don't know the half of it. Ah! So ah! All the guys I meet are total losers. No offense. None taken. Hey! Or else they're borderline psychopaths. No offense. None taken. It's the borderline cases you have to watch out for. Yeah, I've kind of almost fell out of my... <laughs> I was shifting my chair and almost flipped backwards. Infamous, tw uh, infamous, infamous Twitch streamer found dead. Chair fell backward and hit his head on my bed. Oh god, I'm not trying to rhyme. Yes, I'm streaming naked in my bedroom. What kind of man are you looking for? Well, Older just my man. boxers. Guys with a little as soon as we're done with the stream, we're taking those boxers off and going, but oh, taking them nice, and tall long man. bath and distinguished, and he should be experienced. All right, enough already. Yes, I will go out with you, Sybil. I thought she was talking about me. Could you find dates for Max and me? Seriously? I mean, sure. Why not? Stranger things have happened, I guess. They must have. Somewhere. I'm choosing <laughs> not to be offended by that. What do we I'm need to choosing do? to be offended by it's that. It's easy. Just submit an application. I got a bath bomb and everything. Oh, um... Yeah, I never use the hot chocolate bath bombs as a bath bomb for your body. Just, 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 just word of advice. What kind of stuff is on this application? The usual. Your best traits and what kind of person you're looking for. Hooks for hands. You've never Hooks seen a hot hands. chocolate bath bomb? When you're done, you stick I'll it in put water the application and into my computer, which analyzes your personality matrix at 15 essential yes, compatibility yes, I do. points. I don't have a personality matrix so much as a personality vector. Once we've found a match, you call your date and agree on a, a time and bombs. place. Let me help you guys out. Tell me your good points and what you're <coughs> looking for in a date. I should, she should love animals. She should love animals. Such as the elusive praying mantis, who's deadly I don't have a but in yet. brawling mating rituals she mimics. You really know how to ruin the mood, Max. Oh, and cybernetic implants, like an elbow that can connect to the internet. And there my brain goes thinking that what if they moved the data splicer from Robocop's Robo arm to his penis? Like, yeah, I gotta get on the internet. Shing! Comes out of his dick. I'm very spiritual. A disciple of the Ancient Ones, enacting dark magic rituals to bring forth their reign again upon this earth! Rise, Shigarath! Rise, Abyag Solemn! She should have an air of mystery. Making frequent passing mention to her time on the chain gang, but when pressed, revealing nothing. <laughs> you gotta clip that from a comic. Clip that and give it to Kame. 
That's all I can think of. Oh, that's plenty. Now I'll just put your applications into the computer. Bunny daddy. And there it is. Max, it says your perfect match is... Cybernetic laser eyes. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Well, Fun that's fact. interesting. Fun fact. Eris thought these two were married. It says your perfect match is Sam. Disturbing. And yet somehow not completely unexpected. I'm gonna and walk Sam, away now. your ideal soulmate is... Wait for it. Max. Well, there goes another blow to the concept of a fair and just universe. Hey, Sam, what do you say we never, ever speak of this again? Way ahead of you, little buddy. Te oh, 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 oh. See you around, Sybil. Tattoo for you. I never noticed that. I thought that said tutu for you, not tattoo for you. You boys want to try the dating scene again? No, thanks. Last time was too horrifying. Just drop an application. Where do we get an application? Been up any titillating scandal mags lately? No. Potato. Very convenient if you haven't got... You boys want to... No, thank Just drop an application. Hey, Sybil. Computer... Uh-huh. How does this dating... People submit applications listing their good traits and what they're looking for. Once we've found a match, you call... See you around, Sybil. Alright, where the fuck are the applications? Just looking for the applications. Kiki and Tutu, no. Kiki and One Piece. One way. One way. Remind me to refill. Don't refill his prescription. Where are we going, Sam? The White They're House. off to the White House. Oh boy! Oh boy! Do 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 do. What the fuck? All right. Super Bowl. Bye. Hello. Hello. No, if I click out it for any reason, it does that. I was trying to clear out my message list. Now, a lot of these same folks will say that we're wrong for introducing this federal pudding Fuck embargo. Fuck you! Pudding should not be a... They envy our freedom. I ask you, what have they got to hide? Unless they're secretly sitting on stockpiles of pudding, and oh yes, we will find them. They've got nothing to be afraid of. So, in conclusion, America, get your back up off the wall. Dance, come on, marzipan, and good night. It's worse than we thought, Max. He's crazier than a caffeine-addled dingo in an Adelaide maternity ward. What? I think he makes a lot of good points. Those puddings are trying to steal our jobs. I want some pudding. And I especially like how he does that spinny thing with his eyes. By the whiskey-soaked beard of Ulysses S. Grant, that's it. The president's not crazy. He's been hypnotized. I gotta say, dingoes are some of the cutest dogs out, out there. Max and pronto. How do we do that again? We hit him over the head, like we do with all hypnotized people. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Seriously, dingoes are some of the cutest House dogs of out representatives there. Representatives and gardens. It's a stack of pithy campaign slogans. Oh, don't fool with those. Wouldn't want to be caught on national TV with my drawers down. Again. Again. Ooh, nutcracker. Hi, I'm George Washington. Anyone need their nuts cracked? <laughs> Please don't make fun of George Washington. Looks like there are rats in the Oval Office. Sam, you've finally done it. A straight line so easy, even I won't touch it. <laughs> war room. No one enters the war room. That's it. You two are coming with me. Ow, 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 And stay out. Hello. Now I have to get stay back to the president. Hello. He's not supposed to be alone. Excuse Hello. me. Hello. Oh. Welcome, Governor Wizard. The Governor? president has been waiting for you. Governor, Governor Wizard? 
Hey, who better to run a state than a washed up urination loving former child <laughs> urination star? Urination loving a oh god. No one. Hello, this is the White House. No, diggos are some cute doggos. No, sir. I said soda abuse. It's a very important issue. Soda poppers what? appear. Well, oh my God! No, I just realized son. the only episode but that the I'm soda poppers did not English. appear in was ah, the last are, one. Are you two fellas the interpreters? It's about time. Darndest thing, we just had a couple imposters in here. Dead ringers for you two. Were they walking around examining everything and engaging everyone in pointless conversations? Those are the ones. Those accursed clones. When will their devilish mimicry end? Help me out with this here potentate, would you? Can't understand a dang word. But that doesn't make sense. I don't even have an accent. Oh no, momento, por favor. That's Spanish. Impatient little guy, ain't he? What is that? Let's see. This snow globe has a little Apollo 13 inside. What happens when you shake it? I'm afraid to find out. Take a look at that. <laughs> I love this country. Guns and money. Hey, now, that's my super special top secret ribbon. Don't touch it. No, they're not. They get evil. Oh, they are evil. Hey, Chuckles. Hey, Mac, do you work here? What tipped you off? We're freelance police, buddy. This is a national emergency. And we don't appreciate your sassy mouth. Auditions for new White House pet are down the hall. This can only end in violence. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm, this guy's voice sounds familiar. Do you recognize him, Max? Half the time, I don't even recognize you, Sam. I'm over here, little buddy. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly why they hated them. That season two is where they started hating them big time. Some familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? Yeah, I'm that voice in the back of your head that tells you to mind your own business. The veiled threats, the surly tone. I've got it. You're that pit boss from the toy mafia. I smell a conspiracy. You smell a nosy dog who's going to get smacked if he don't stop yep. asking questions. What's behind that door? It's a private club for people who aren't annoying me. You two ain't invited. Should we pummel him together, Sam, or would you rather take turns? We can create a national security incident after we've saved the president, Max. What do you do around here? Nothing. I give out free t-shirts to the visitor who asks the dumbest question of the day. Please accept my apologies, but we're all out of Husky Boys sizes. Woo! Double burn! I thought you were on my side, Max. Snowball's awesome. I just call him like I see him, Sam. What's the Toy Mafia got to do with the Secret Service? Lots of things. What Toy Mafia? Oh, he's good, Sam. The Orso Nostra, the sacred organization you inducted me and Max into in a time-honored ceremony. The one that we infiltrated, repeatedly duped, and then blew up in a fiery explosion of death and property damage. Yes. I was going to casually forget to mention that part, Max. That's a very entertaining story, Chowderheads. Now, run along and play whilst I protect the leader of our country. Okay, fine. We'll be back. I cannot wait. What's new, Wizard? That's Governor Wizard. Thank you very much. Why? What are you the governor of? The 51st and greatest state, West Dakota! Don't you guys read the papers? When do we get to West Dakota? You mean the obituaries, Max. Nobody even Potato, goes to North Dakota. Potato. We're a young state. Or Montana. Our own rich or most of the northern states. A distinct or Midwestern states. Apart from the north what is the least south? populated state? How did you get into politics? I won the election. It was a very close race. But I totally won the popular vote. Was it a runoff election? Do you see what I did there? Run off? I know. He's a You're still the master of fourth grade gutter humor, Max. Continental, Koneko. Continental. And I think actually oh, Hawaii has less people. What were your qualifications for office? Being dumb. I'm a television celebrity. Now there's a platform Wyoming. I can get behind. Is Wyoming the one where it's like so windy it can blow, you see trucks being blown over? Is that Nebraska? Because I want to move there. What brings you to the Oval Office? 
I'm trying to build up nationwide support for the MRSAPP. Who's Mr. Sap? And why didn't you want me to know you were talking about him? I can spell, you know. No, you can't. It's the Mount Rushmore Soda Abuse Prevention Program. It's totally changed my life. I've been carbonation free for weird? over four weeks now. Why are you wearing an outfit like that? I mean, seriously, just put on like a real outfit, dude. Tell us about the MRSAPP. Be brief. I no started the Mount Rushmore Monster Soda Energy Abuse drink, Prevention lemonade, Program after I became grape governor soda, to help people Sprite, get flat like desk. me. But if we can't get federal rate. funding, people all over the Dakotas are going to get right back on the pop. I don't work eight hours a day, six days a week just to throw my money away for some washed up soda junkies with no sense of self-control. You don't have any money, Max. Oh, right. Never mind. Good luck with that, Wiz. <laughs> so you've really kicked the soda habit, huh? And how? Back when I was on the pop, I was in a real downward spiral. Why? That endless cycle of always looking for my next fizz, then having to take time out for number one. Then I saw that documentary about Peanut Franklin, and it convinced me I didn't want to be just another self-destructive former child star. Mm, Peanut Franklin, the lovable star of Mixed Nuts who was found in a seedy Hollywood motel room dead of anaphylactic shock? What you mean you ain't got no jelly? Still too soon, Max. We're ready to interpret for you. Don't tell me. The president needs the interpreter. What did he say, Sam? I'm speaking English. I don't even have an accent. Yes, you do. Can't understand a word. See you around, wizard. Good day, Mr. President. We come in peace, as far as, far as, as you know. know. Ooh, finally, the interpreters. Where have you been? We're ready to interpret for you. All right, let's get this party started. <laughs> Mr. President, my fellow Americans, I come to warn you about a serious epidemic facing our country, the scourge of soda abuse. Many former popheads like myself found ourselves in the endless cycle of addiction and elimination until we believed there was no well, hope. There is a such thing as soda addiction. I don't know what addiction. you're saying, son, but you're selling it, boy. Good job. I ask you, how long can this epidemic continue? What was that? He said, I'm gonna, uh, prepare to die, capitalist oppressor. What's a guy gotta do to get a drink around here? What's a guy gotta do to get a drink around here? Aha, uh -huh. I know what you need. And ice cold orange sugar fizz. I swear by him. Mm, no, orange that's sugar not what fizz. I want at all. I must resist. Sugar water. But I am thirsty. And just one couldn't hurt. Frosty cold and so delicious. All the progress I've made. They were about to did give it? me my fucking Okay, okay, did it, um, I almost feel bad about this. Didn't it? Trump have actually a have a Diet Sam. Coke and a Big Mac What's button added to his office? Like, he clicks a button, they bring him a Big Mac, and he clicks another button, they bring him a Diet Coke can. Oh, blessed angels of carbonation. Fill me with your syrupy nectar. Ew. Yeah, now I'm not so much guilty as repulsed. And now I want a Big Mac. More. I need more. I need... I need a bathroom. Which yes, the president said it does look like a dick. Which way is the war room? It's that door right over there. But I don't... Oh, thank you. Where do you think you're going? I've got to get in there. Bad. We've got a priority red number two here in the Oval Office. No, it's just number one. Escorting the suspect to holding cell for interrogation? Come with me, sir. But it'll only take a second. Please, let me go! That Hi. was fun. Okay, now I didn't catch all that. What did he say? <sighs> okay. Hello, Mr. President. You've been hypnotized, Mr. President. For the good of America, you have to snap out of it. Poppycock, I'm still as sharp as a vegetarian piranha's tooth. tooth. He's madder than a mongol with saddle rash and a yak blood allergy. Diplomacy's not working, Sam. I'll get the brass knuckles. It's nothing like actually milking and drinking your own mare's milk when you... Never mind. Freelance police, you're under arrest. Freelance police? 
Now there's the kind of can-do vigilante attitude that makes America strong. Finally, <coughs> someone who appreciates our greater calling. So who's exactly our freelance release? Snap out of it, Chief. Let's talk more clobbering. Ah. Uh. Keep up the good work, Mr. President. You've got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. Oh, what? The man's a genius, Sam. I almost feel bad for doing this. It's for the good of the country, Max. Here, Max. Let's give you a boxing glove. Now it's time for some checks and balances, freelance police style. Max, will you do the honors? Gladly. Look it, fellas. My fingertips look like little tadpoles. Woo! They just don't make these guys like CEO of the USA. That's no guy, that Max. It's a damned ugly puppet. Ah, the drawstring in his back should have been our first clue. Our first clue should have been the swirly eye. Bad joke. But Bad joke. Me, I thought hypnotizee, not the hypnotizer. The president's a puppet. What? Yes, an ingenious device being used to hypnotize the TV watching public. But who was controlling him? Gonna take days to get that smell out of the interrogation room. What? What have you done? He was like that when we got here. Sam did it. <laughs> so these two numbskulls managed to off the president. It was a deep tissue massage gone horribly wrong. Oh, I mean, Ninjas. Deep tissue Sam did it. Massage. Still, ratings from the last State of the Union address were even lower than reruns of Midtown Cowboys. I didn't expect to have to replace the president so soon. But now that these idiots have forced my hand, uh, we're standing right here. We can hear everything you're saying. We're hearing you monologue. It's time for you're a monologuing. That people will have to listen to. Agents Jackson, Burr, and Degambe. We are moving the timeline Degambe. forward. Degambe. Commence phase two of the operation. I'll prepare the new candidate. Dun dun dun. Not quite the reaction I would have expected from a Secret Service agent discovering two people over the decapitated body of the president. What do you think this fake body is made of? Can I keep it? Yes. No time for that now, Max. We've got to stop the... Wait, what's that noise? Lincoln smash! Blessed scuba diving Buddha on a banana boat with cocktail onions and a map to the star's homes. Yeah! Mm, They've reanimated America's most beloved president. Taft? I always thought Taft was shorter. Not Taft, you deficient. My fellow Americans. I don't even know who Taft is. I am Abraham Lincoln. As you know by now, your president was recently murdered by two mysterious interpreters. But turn not to fear and despair. I have returned to guide us through this troubled time. A vote for me is a vote for Abraham Lincoln. I'll get it! What's that? Uh-huh. I know his name, right. I just don't know what he is and what robotic he did. Implants. Yes. Okay, I see. We're on it. Wrong number? That was the commissioner, Max. If this new Mecha Lincoln wins the emergency election, the nefarious forces controlling him will have unchecked power to destroy the entire free world. I hate when they do that. That's why one of us is going to have to run against him. You got to answer the phone. Okay, fair's fair. Did, uh... Max, we're going to make you the next president of the United States. Yes! All right. Max is gonna be the next president. Wonderful. Back to the White House. I hate the fact that I have to double click everything. Hey, Max is a great president. All that freedom and hedonism. Oh, yeah. It's a stack of pithy campaign slogans. The buck stops here, thousand points of light, and I just have points sex of light? with that woman. Well, I did, but I didn't inhale. He had pictures of himself with cardboard cutouts of other presidents. Uh, Relatives, maybe. Mixing. Hi, I'm George Washington. Anyone need their nuts cracked? <laughs> Super Bowl? Oh no, not this guy again. Hey, it's our pal, Super Bowl! One and the same, sir. Well, stand aside, pal. No can do, sir. Orders. 
right. We'll be back. Roger that. His gla Oh, I thought you'd see through his glasses at that angle. Urn. This urn says Fluffy on it. Aw. Wasn't that Warren G. Harding's nickname? I'm not sure who this is, but he must be important. Fuck you. That ribbon is classified, sir. Presidents only. Well, fuck you. It's the cue cards for Lincoln's speech. I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. Nice. Let's put these in there. I did not have sex with that woman. And free home delivery. Free home delivery. Flyer. It's Lincoln's campaign flyer. I want you. Honest. Dedicated. Over a century of experience. Abraham Lincoln is your man. Heck yeah. And let's hit the head. It's the severed head of the president. I yearn to hold it aloft and turn giant sea atrocities to stone. Awesome You're thinking of Medusa's head. Oh, yeah. I always get those two heads confused. Mr. Lincoln, as a candidate for office, my pal Max would like to engage in a thoughtful discussion of the key issues. Followed by a round of spiteful mudslinging. Very good mudslinging. Hmm, I see. Well, this is a bit irregular. Not really. As you're well aware, I'm the most beloved president in history. Shush you. So I just assumed I'd be running unopposed. Oh, no, you didn't. You ain't all that. I freed the slave. I was star of a popular television sitcom. I'm on the penny. I was on TV. Now, gentlemen, we can resolve this like adults through moderate uh, reason, reason debate. debate. Yes. Very well, then. In the spirit of democracy, I say, bring it. And it's a beautiful day on the White House lawn as we bring you the first in a series of debates for this emergency election for U.S. president. In the Republican corner, we have the giant animated statue <laughs> oh, of God, he's Abraham Republican. Lincoln. And representing the Random Violence and Destruction Party, there is the hyperkinetic, rabbit-like creature known as Max. Marbles. Acting as completely impartial moderator for the debates will be Sam. The candidates are ready, so let's listen in. Let's talk about the issues. Contestants, it's time for our... Mr. Lincoln, I'm going to name some of the tough issues facing our country today. I'd like you to sum up your stand on those issues in a few concise words. Well, all right. I'm afraid this will have to be completely off the top of my head, as I have nothing prepared. We need to play the solve the... Toxic waste. That's enough for now. Keep them coming. I'm ready for anything. Time out. I'm drunk with. I'm drunk with power. This is the only part that sucks. You can't choose which I'm one. I'm glad is. that I've been. It's just random which one you put in. Two wrongs don't. I did not have sex. Thousand points. The buck stops here. Free home delivery. This is way old, though. This is. It's time for another in this ongoing series of This is from the early, the mid 2000s. Abraham Lincoln, and we turn you over to our impartial. Complain about toxic waste. How do you plan to solve the problem of toxic waste? Free home delivery. Ooh, an effective but very controversial proposal from candidate Lincoln. And the crowd did not like that idea one bit. Let's see how it affected the polls. <laughs> Lincoln, Max, and Nader. <laughs> Who the hell is Nader again? I'm glad that I... Two wrongs don't make a right. There's that one alone. Yeah, I remember. It's an old joke, but yes. 
Let's talk about the family issues. Mr. Lincoln, I'd like you to tell the vote. Very well. How do you stand on religion and Where school? do you stand on religion and schools? Two wrongs don't make I a know. right. I know. Did we hear that right? Lincoln just came down against both religion and education. Wow, that's got to hurt him in the polls. Woo! Nader's up. Max hasn't moved at all. I did not have se a thousand points. What the fuck's a thousand points of light? The buck stops here. Uh, I think there's another one. There's one I'm missing. Hey. Your name here. For naming rights to this building, please contact the Office of Desperation Accounting. <laughs> oh boy! Can we, Sam? Please? We'll see, little buddy. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Back to the office. Shotgun! Now, the give me all you've got is... I'm trying to remember where I can get that one from. Whee! Welcome to Silos. I don't even remember the give me all you got. I just remember the box stops here. Dating Zevis. What's this? A new application? Yeah, it's uh, for a friend of ours. Let's see... Not THE Abraham Lincoln. He's tall, distinguished, loves the theater. He sounds perfect. That chump doesn't have Yeah, in fact, he loses his mind if he goes to the theater. Do you think your computer can find him a date? Computer? <laughs> Nothing. This guy sounds perfect for me. Oh, but he didn't leave his phone number. Next time you see him, give him my number. I'd love to meet him. What? What I do wrong? It's not my fault that theater blew his mind. <laughs> when I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. You always say that. Hello? Jerk! Yeah. City dumb. Who are you calling, Sam? Sybil. Sybil. Hello? Abe? Is it you? How do you know? Uh, you bet. Honest Abe here. Very funny, Sam. I have to keep this line open for his call. Who are you calling, Sam? Sybil. Hello? I am reborn. Is this Mr. Cthulhu calling again? Yep. I will feast on your <laughs> Mr. Cthulhu? And devour your soul. I didn't know this joke was in there. Look, I already explained. I tried to find a date for you, but all my clients are looking for someone younger. Please stop calling me. Lud Lud Chuplulu. Where to? Where to? President appoints action figure as Secretary of Defense. That is pretty crazy. Well, at least it was an action figure of John Shaft. Oh, I ha 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 ha. Non-mafia-owned casino destroyed by mysterious explosion. Mysterious? Hey, Oreo, how you doing? I gave my name to reporters and even posed for pictures. Sometimes blowing something up is its own reward, pal. President spied in love tryst with Sasquatch. Ooh. I give him three months tops. Novelty gumballs. Shaped just like the real thing, but made of inedible plastic. Yeah, this is exactly Will your friends annoy your grandparents? Oh shit. Um um 
Uh, is it still going? I clicked two. Ah! Yeah, I'm fine. I just clicked too much on the side. <laughs> For some reason, if I click that far over, it screws up big time. Okay, switching weight again. Shifting weight. Get it? Yeah, I'm trying to not click outside the game. Not to soda. Oh, there. Give me all you got. It's the army's new recruiting slogan. It's a lot better than their old one. What are you, chicken? I'm not overreacting. It's loud. Apparently, annoying. there's no room in the military budget for quality adhesives. I'm just quite weird. Professional wrestling. Fine. Spend the model championship is coming up. I like when they do the sudden death round with the Molotov cocktails. That sounds awesome. Feel like taking in some pro wrestling? I think I've seen that one. We should go to Switzerland yes. sometime, Max. Nah, they always jip you on the cheese. It's like half air. I want to go to Switzerland, motherfucker. Drug dealer. Are the pet the marbles working? Oh. Where are we going, Sam? Let's pet me. Pet me now. Harder. We're off to the White House. Deeper. Oh boy. Chirpier. I just want to go to Switzerland, though. Give me all you got. All those family issues. Mr. Lincoln, I'd like you to tell the voters your stand on some of the tough issues. Very well. How would you describe your tax plan? Duh. Give me all you got. And candidate Lincoln has proposed one shocker of an economic strategy, which even Democrats I've only are played calling this three a times. trifle excessive. Seriously. That had to have hurt him in the polls. Max isn't going anywhere, but Nader's going up. Wait, Nader's the Republican? The, Nader's the fucking Democrats? I did not realize that. Mr. Lincoln, would you like to say a few words to the audience? <clears throat> Thank you. This is a date that will be remembered for centuries to come. Today is the day we return America to greatness. Yay. I stand here at the steps of the White House, not above the people, but with the, the people. people. Only one man can lead the nation through this troubled time. I, Abraham Lincoln, am that man. The time to act is now. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I've heard better addresses from the 411 operator. What did you just say? Hey, Lincoln! Captain Ahab called! He wants his beard back! I'm gonna slap you silly, you little punk! Save it for the debate, Max. That worked. Hey, what's here, you? Mr. Lincoln? Perhaps you'd like to speak about the... Of course. A strong family unit is the rock upon which our society is... I agree built. with that one. It's easy today in this age of your blinged out horseless carriages and racy daguerreotype magazines to believe that Somebody once told me the world is gonna concepts. roll me. But I, I ain't the sharpest proud. tool in the I've shed. I've been completely faithful to my lovely wife, Mary Todd, for over seven score years. I've never even looked at another woman. Time out. Max has a therapist's appointment he can't miss. I think we're on the verge of a real breakthrough. This is a world, though. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Back to the office. Shotgun! I know how to do the world. I can make time stop. I never forget why can you only do it for a couple seconds at a time. And yet gold experience and all of them seem to be way more powerful when it comes to time powers.
Max is awakened and needs love. Love, Max. You may post pictures of Max in the channel. Who are you calling, Sam? Sybil. Sybil. I, Abraham Lincoln, am that man. Oh, well, Mr. President, it's He's not just, Mr. President yet. It's such an honor to talk to you. I saw your application, and I was wondering, would you like to go out sometime? Yes. This is a date that will be remembered for centuries to come. I love that this is just a word puzzle. Come. Just an easy-ass oh word my. puzzle. You are a charmer, aren't you? Yep. Well then, Mr. Rail Splitter, where would you like to meet? I stand here at the steps of the White House. Yes. White House. Got it. What time should I meet you? The time to act is now. Oh, I love that decisiveness. I'll rush right over. I'm going to slap you silly, you little punk. What? I didn't catch that last part. I will feast on your entrails <laughs> and devour your soul. Uh, I will Gotta feast go. upon your orgasms and devour your... Okay, we're not going to go there. For it's nothing but perversion. So, to sum up, family values are the bedrock of this nation. Our fidelity, honesty, and loyalty to family is our most sacred asset as Americans. Candidate Max, your rebuttal? <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Mr. Lincoln! I believe we wow, have a she's question fucking in the a literal hourglass. Someone who is not candidate all Lincoln's hips. wife. Oh, hi, Sam. Hi, Max. Greetings, random harlot. Abe, I'm here. Are you ready for our day? Hey, if you're gonna eat a pussy out, what? you better eat it out right. Get the I've hot never sauce. Seen this woman it's the hottest sauce you can. God no. But on the phone, you sounded so eager to meet me. Listen to me, America. I did not arrange a date with this woman. Oh, so she's good enough to fool around with, but not to date. Mr. Lincoln, I can't believe you're doing this to me. <laughs> I just realized she has a marijuana leaf fucking on her shirt. <laughs> Family values are caught. Oh, wow, that is really... <sighs> and Max is the new president. The results from the emergency election are coming in. And it appears that former sitcom star Max has been elected president of the United States. In an unprecedented show of bipartisan solidarity, all of the country's political parties have desperately asked for a recount. <laughs> Let's cut to the White House lawn to hear candidate Lincoln's address. You've got to be b***ing me, you idiots. He took the news much better than expected. Democracy? I will make you all my hypnotic slaves. <laughs> Max, that robotic Abe Lincoln will enslave the entire East Coast if we don't stop him. Who cares? I'm the president of the U.S. Let's go bomb someone into oblivion. Yes. Not just anyone, Max. Abe Lincoln must die. Yes. Yes. All right, where we go? And now that we're the president of the United States. We can have some fun now. Aww. Finally, Mr. President, you're here. That's the president? People will vote for anyone these days. Obviously. What's that supposed to mean? It means... Never mind. Look, Max, all the soda poppers are here. I don't have time for foreign dignitaries. For Check dignity. out all the cool stuff on my new desk. All right. It's the Secretary of Presidential Whimsy Ribbon. Looks like Max can use this to appoint someone as an honorary cabinet secretary. Okay, what's a cabinet secretary? Oh, I know. <sighs> Go. I'm not really thirsty. I like the fact that the glow opens up. Look, Max. It's our yeah, this old is from pal. like 2006. <clears throat> it may be earlier. Look, Grand Imperial Warlord Maximus Optimus, Keeper of the Seven Keys. Yes. It's our old pal, the former child star and embarrassing idol semifinalist, Peepers. That's former.
former child star and embarrassing idol semi-finalist, Governor Peepers. Okay, Governor Peepers. You're a governor, too. You're a governor, too? That's right. I got North Dakota. North Dakota, the leftover state. I thought it was North Dakota, still warmer than Saskatchewan. I wouldn't mind hey, North Dakota. Hey, be nice. We've got a rich and varied history. North Dakota, hope you like snow. <laughs> North Dakota, come or climb Minnesota. all over our big white butte. Hey, sorry, I got caught up in the moment. And what is there to do in North Dakota? What's there to do in North Dakota? Absolutely Plenty. nothing. Snowmen, snow angels, snow forts, snowball fights, homemade ice cream, and of course, the majesty of Mount Rushmore. That hasn't been decided yet. Right, I spoke too soon. Where is the right there? Where is Mount Rushmore? What business do you have in the Oval Office? We need the president to settle custody of Mount Rushmore. Max has the presidential pen. Somewhere. Just tell me where to sign. I'm great. drinking grape right the now. The problem is solved. But seriously, if you guys see the president, tell him we're waiting. Max really is president now. It was in the papers. We haven't been watching the news back in Fargo. We've been so busy with the Fargo. arms oh, build God. up. What was that? Uh, did I say arms build up? I meant winter paradise toboggan and scrapbooking jamboree. So long, peeps. Hey, Specs. Max, Remember, you only likes orange soda. <clears throat> most omnipotent exaltedness, Max Sama, overseer of the nine cosmic planes. You remember Specs, the other soda popper. We vaguely recognize our loyal subject. What are you guys talking about? Hot sex. Kiss the ring. What? No. What are you doing here? Sing your theme song for us. No, I don't sing that anymore. I want to be respected as more than just a beloved TV celebrity. You're if beloved. it makes you feel better, you were never really that beloved. Sam and I always watched your show with detached irony. What are you doing here? What business do you have with the president? We're here to get federal resolution on No, a seriously, where is Mount it Rushmore? It wouldn't be a dispute if you... If I what? Nothing. Awkward. But you're a bunny, not a tiger. It is inside. Oh, I thought it was in North Dakota. But yeah. Right, you can't really move it. I've actually driven past it a few times, but I've never gone to it. Like, there's this some lift that takes you up to look at it, and I kept declining it. I feel like an idiot every time. Later, Specs. Welcome back, Governor Wizzer. Here to give another demonstration on soda abuse? That's not funny. Why should your state get Mount Rushmore? Because they just want it for tourism. But my plan will save lives. Right, It'll become no. a monument to soda abuse prevention. No. People will realize that just like Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, and the other guy, they too can overcome their crippling addiction to carbonated beverages. George Washington never had a soda addiction. Why do you think he needed false teeth? How did West Dakota become a separate state? The three of us ran for governor together. We got along so well during the campaign, and we were all such former TV celebrities that all three of us won. The voters realized they'd elected three governors for only two states. That's when the unpleasantness began. Sure, we can have a compromise. Why not divide it up equally? That would never work. It's not even. Each of you could get a third of Roosevelt. Yeah. I want the mustache. I wanted the mustache. Okay, Max gets Roosevelt's mustache, Specs gets the glasses, Peepers, you get an ear and both nostrils. That just leaves me with the forehead. All right then, Wizard. We'll throw in Crazy Horse, but that's my final Man, have you offer. Seen Crazy Horse? It's that's not amazing. Even finished. This will never work. It's just like last time. What was the unpleasantness? We fought for a long time about how to divide up the states. There was almost a war, but we divided everything up fairly and all agreed that Mount Rushmore should be in the south. We did not. You, I, what? You. Oh, never mind. Thirsty? Yes! But you're not going to offer me a soda, are you? 
You know I can't resist them. We wouldn't do that. We've got, let's see here, orange soda, cola, grape soda, pop, some more orange soda, and tea. I'll take tea, tea please. please. We're all out of tea. Soda? Why are you doing this? Because we're assholes. Would you like a drink? As long as it's not soda. <laughs> Crazy horses of giant fucking carving. Stay dry, whiz man. <sighs> hey, peepers. Can't we all just get along? We can if we all just keep quiet and avoid another incident. Honesty is rarely the best policy. All us presidents know that. So long, peeps. Hey, Specs. <laughs> what business do you have with the president? We're here to get federal Ooh, so. resolution on a dispute. It wouldn't be a dispute if you... If I what? Nothing. Awkward. What have you been up to? Winning an election. I'm now the governor of, of South, South Dakota. Dakota. Hey, just like Wizard. No, not just like Wither. I was the first one of us to run for office. Yeah, like you invented it. You just... Ah, uh, forget it. Fight you three. Fight. What are you doing as governor? I'm fixing the problems in the state and getting it back to perfect working order. <laughs> Did you know that the Black Hills are really more of a greenish gray? I don't think... Where's the Badlands? Is that the, the up problem. there too? Or no? What about the Badlands? We're making them even oh, worse. Oh, okay, good. Later, Specs. Hey, Wizard. What was the unpleasantness again? We almost went to war over who should get control of Mount Rushmore. And it's all because Specs and Peepers. What? Yeah, what? You? Oh, never mind. Would you like a drink? As long as it's not... Stay dry, Wizman. Yeah, I gotta remember this puzzle. Hi, I'm George Washington. Anyone need their nuts cracked? No. Please don't make fun of George Washington. Hmm. Hey, peepers. Can't we all just get along? We can if we all just keep quiet and avoid another incident. Honesty is rarely the best policy. So long, peeps. Hmm. Hey, Specs. What business do you have with the president? We're here to get federal resolution on it. It wouldn't be a dis if I nothing. Oh, Awkward. man. Oh, thank you, Silver. Later, Specs. Where's the bug? Hmm. Throw pillows shaped like stars. Interesting. Where is it? Hey, peepers. Can't we all just get along? We honesty is. So long, peeps. Welcome back, Governor. That's not funny. Would you like a drink? As long as it's... What was the unplanned? We almost went to war over who should get control of Mount Rushmore. Yes, yes, you are, Oreo. And it's all because... What? Yeah, what? You? Oh, never mind. Stay dry. Hmm. There are so many other things to punch. There are so many other things to punch. There are so many other. The Liberty Bell is a light for this room, just as America is a light for. Yeah. Metaphor is such an ugly quality in furniture. Yeah, he does. Wait, but his name's Max too, so I got him. Yeah. Okay, so oh, there's the bug. Okay, here's what he said. Those incompetent brothers of mine are messing everything up. What? I didn't say anything. Thank you, sir. Hey, wizard. What was the unpleasantness again? We almost went to what? Yeah. You. Stay dry, wizman. Oh, oh, this is old. Oh, 
Okay, here's what he said. Oh, artificial grape and cherry. High fructose corn syrup. Sodium Ben. Thank you, sir. Oh, <laughs> sodium Ben tonight. Sounds delicious to me. I think Peeper's the one we gotta get. He's a blue meanie. Yeah, well, my max is a big white evil rabbit. This has been okay, the right answer. Here's what he said. Spex thinks he's so smart. We'll see who's the smart one once the Fargo militia comes to town. Thank you, sir. Hey, peepers. So long, peeps. Hey, Spex. Later, Spex. All right, so how do we use this thing? Nah. I can't listen to that. Think, boy! Welcome back, Governor. That's not funny! Stay dry, Wizman. Listen, maggot. Don't bug me till you want to bug somebody else. You got me! We can use this to appoint an honorary... Max's formerly missing box... All right, so who the fuck do I give this to? Oh, hi, America. I didn't see you there. As you know, I'm Maximilian I, ruler of your quaint little nation. God damn it. Our borders stretch from the beautiful coasts of California to the not exactly beautiful, but still pretty nice in their own way, coasts along the eastern seaboard. Fuck you! At least they do now. I'm working with my executive staff, Sam, to see about getting us a little more room to work with, if you catch my drift. <laughs> but don't you worry your pretty little heads about that. For now, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Toodles! I can't listen to that. Think, boy! All right, we have him bugged. Hey, I wizard. Stay dry. Whispers Here's what he super said. Silos. Those incompetent brothers of mine. What? I didn't say. Thank you, sir. Whispers where? What whispers do you talk about, Silver Shields? I, I don't have whispers when I'm streaming. I know how to do this. I just... Uh... Hundred dollars or hundred twenty before the hun Thank before you, the twentieth. That's my goal for this week, and I'm gonna keep playing other stuff too. I'm actually trying to not fall asleep nowadays. That's my biggest thing. Where Looks like there are. Sam, you finally done it. Where the fuck do I put this thing? I think peepers is the bigger problem than threat. Okay, here's... Spex thinks he's... We'll see who's the smart... Thank you, sir. Hey, Spex. What business... We're here to get... It wouldn't... If I... Nothing... Awkward! Later, Spex. Hey, peepers. Can't we all... We can... Honesty is rare... So long, peeps. Well... That's not funny! What was the... We almost... What? what? Yeah? You! Oh... Would you like a drink? As long as it's... Stay dry. Okay, let's see if we can get the unpleasantness. Sorry, guys. This is just... Shit. Okay, here's... Oh, thank you, sir. House of Representatives and Gardens. I can't 
can't let think, boy. I am absolutely confused. I am absolutely lost for a while, and that's just kind of pissing me off. We have everything we can do here. We just gotta get these guys to fight each other. I forgot to do this. No, so, Silver Shields, you can donate as much as you want to the stream. It doesn't matter. As long as you're enjoying the show. But I will never, like, literally, like, yeah, well, I do like big tips. I don't want you to feel guilty about it or feel like I owe you anything or you know what I mean. Uh, the soda poppers aren't the close-knit band they used to be. They're just one inappropriate comment away from full-on violence. Just like you and me, pal. The soda poppers... They're just one... Just like you... What are we doing here, Max? I keep getting whiny memos about the giant robotic Abraham Lincoln who's rampaging through Washington, enslaving the populace. I guess we'd better do something about that. Alright. I'm glad we took this time to talk, Max. Keep in touch. Yeah. Well, it's something I gotta put the bug somewhere. Take a look at that. I love Silver Shields, donate whatever you think is worth it. Yeah, I'm going to be fighting for the rest of the month to pay off bills, and that's about it. That's all I do. I pay off bills and be an idiot. Where are we going, Sam? It's getting better, though. After, uh, After that rampaging Lincoln. You're going down, Abe! Like Sorry about that. Oh, no. Wait, wait, what was that? I try to be. But I fail. Thank you, Oreo. That helps a lot, too. Well, nope, I'm probably going to finish this game off tonight. Just had to follow the trail of broken campaign promises. Are you sure if I'm six is a bad person? For a high speed car chase, Max. I like to think I transcend genre. All right, let's bring this up. Here you go. This might help. Yeah, well, they can just be... There are such a thing as lurkers, hon. I just gave you the list of known bots, so... A convention. <laughs> Sorry. Trying to fix something on my end. So it's going to see a pause. I hate that. If I click off the game, everything pauses, which is not a bad thing in the long run, but it's also not the best thing. Oh, Jesus, fuck.
Christ, my Twitter is blowing up. I'm sorry. I am really sorry for everyone who sees that. Yeah, my Twitter is really blowing up. Sam? It's Lincoln we need to stop at this point. The bullets have no effect! He's made of marble, Max, and fueled by rage. My gun just isn't big enough to Save stop the lake. Him. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the White House. Back to the office. So where are we, New York? Where do they take... Where do they... they where's their home base? Yes. Hey, Warbird, how you doing, hon? Yeah, we're going to take off his head in a minute. Sybil, you okay? Oh, I forgot that weapon that she has, but I thought that was for a whole different plot line. It's Sybil's carbon. Don't touch that, fellas. It's the only thing keeping me in business. Hiya, Sybil. How are things in the world of computer-generated romance? Oh, I'm not doing that anymore. You believe that guy? Never mentioning that he was married? Men are such self-centered jerks. Preach it, girlfriend! So you changed careers again? Yeah. Now I'm running a dating service. Uh-huh. Um, carbon dating. A carbon dating service. Yeah, but carbon dating was about a thousand years. I useful machine that tells me how old The same way I stream are. everything else. OBS, I usually just Warburg. cut them in half and count the rings. There's a reason you're not invited to birthday parties anymore. I wanted a fresh start in a new career to get my mind off that fiasco with Honest Abe. This wasn't my first choice, but I got a good deal on the carbon dating equipment online. And I couldn't afford no, to No, uh, so Warburg might be able to answer this, but isn't carbon dating when you only go back like 5,000 years and then it just gets iffy? You're having financial problems? I'm afraid so. After my public humiliation with Lincoln, no. all the applicants for my dating service you demanded their it, money but back. That's about it. Not to mention all the money tied up in pending litigation with the clients who watched Max's dating video. What? I stated very clearly up front that viewer discretion was advised... Believe me, I would love to just close up shop for Can I watch Max's videos. dating video? Forget about Honest Dave and all the lawsuits. It was a wardrobe malfunction! But unless I get a major Wait, did we windfall, get to see Max's penis? I have to hope the carbon dating business takes off. How does carbon dating work? <coughs> I don't know. Something about carbon-14 and half-lives and radiation. I'm impressed with your detailed scientific knowledge. Very professional. That's the beauty of it. I don't really need to know anything. I just, just point the supermarket scanner at it. Something and it tells me how old it is. Allow me to demonstrate. This tiki is, oh my gosh, it's it's 2,000 years old. This is fantastic. Um, one of the actual oh, wood in it. Absolutely. I can have my office put on the national like register if you scan of something with like um, a I'm giant stone a slab when it just tell you how rich. old the stone slab is. Uh can we borrow your carbon dating machine? No way. That machine is still my only chance to take care of my money problems. Unless I get a grant, since I'm now on the National Register of Historic Places. There's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. Aaron Fox, if you page me on Discord, I will give you an... I know exactly where he, he hides it. 50,000 years ago. Thank you. I know it was a five. Who could possibly need a freelance carbon dating service? Ah! Of people. And I'm covered in le blue lemonade. independent historians, rogue paleobotanists. It's also naughty fun Feels for like your I next bachelorette myself. party. And now that Antiques Thunderdome is getting so popular, business Definitely is bound go take to take a shower up. after this. Antiques now. Thunderdome, the show where common everyday people bring random junk from around the house to a giant steel cage match and engage in a no holds barred appraisal like, okay. to the death. That's the one. If you were to well, carbon date a steel cage, they have some priceless treasure you would get the date of the steel, is what I'm getting at. A historic monument. And carbon dating is only works on items that are made of fucking carbon. Which metal and a bunch of other things would not work. See you around, Sybil. I said, if you page me on Discord, I'll show you where, they, where uh, Max hides all his goods. Well, fuck it. I'll, I'll show you anyways. Warning, this, as we said, viewer discretion is advised. 
viewer discretion really is advised on this one. So just going to warn you that up front. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. There. So for those who wanted to see where Max keeps his inventory. Here you go. Warning, viewer discretion is massively advised. Oh yeah, right, steel does have carbon in it, you're right. Because steel is a mix of carbon and actual iron. But there's where Max keeps his inventory, for those who wanted to see it. As I said, viewer discretion is majorly advised. Don't come complaining to me, I'm warning you all. You do have a good point. It's locked. But you are right, steel does have iron wooden though. Well, maybe not. It's a great picture. And tell me I'm wrong. Tell me, Mark, they're not going to give me a picture of that, though. Uh, here we go. Oh, Mr. President, please do not execute me. Oh, we will. Yes. All right, it's been a while. <laughs> Where are we going, Sam? We're off. To oh boy! All right, I'm just trying to remember what I have to do with them. I'm not really thirsty. National budget. One billion dollars to marbles. Hey, look, Max. It's the presidential discretionary budget. You have $100 million to allocate however you want. What a delightfully random and convenient figure. Okay, Alamo Civil Pandemic. going Sam well it's true back to the office shotgun and it's an amazing image I just like the facial expressions like they are awesome hmm Sybil left the door unlocked she's probably living it up on some tropical island on the taxpayers dime I bet she's getting abducted in some sleazy nightclub, forced to do unspeakable things for a Please. power mad despot Please. before narrowly escaping his volcano top lair with only one of her kidneys left. Okay, and without Don't be the kidney. Such a thing? Pessimist, Max. Sorry, Sam. It's just no fair. We're stuck here working and she gets to have all the fun. Are you saying you don't enjoy your work? It's Sybil's carbon dating machine. No, I seriously forgot how to fucking do it, though. It's pissing me off. Now to carbon date something yummy. Hot money. Wow, 
Bosco, by my readings, these weenies date from the early Cretaceous period. Uh, da, it's a special bargain for you. Still tasty. A handful of today only. You don't understand. Your store is now a national historic place. Yay. These weenies are valuable artifacts. Really? I mean, of course. And preserving heritage of my people. Just how valuable are we talking Sometimes about? he does hit it. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually going that. to really like the new Bosco. And an issue of Hop Honey. Whee! All right, now how the fuck do we get these three to fight? Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh boy. No, I don't think it's something I had to do in that room. I think it's uh, I think it's just something to do with the bug, and we just have to get the bug to play back. Well, we have it play back each time. It says here, Spex is 35 years old. And still in short pants. Sad, really. Oh, truth serum, you're right. It says Peepers is 34 years old. I thought they were triplets. Hmm, Wizard's 35 years old. You're never too young for adult undergarments, Wizard. I wouldn't need them if people would stop giving me sodas. Yeah, I forgot about the truth serum. But hey, we answered that one. National budget, Bosco. Hello, Comrade Bosco. Hail to the chief. I don't know how you guys did it. But I just got a huge check from the government. Here's $100 million. You earned it, Bosco. It's not easy to perfectly preserve weenies that predate the discovery of fire. Not to mention the teeming microcosm growing in the bathroom. We're considering making it a national wildlife preserve. Now I can finally finish my satellite defense system. Right, right. So I'm an idiot, Kaneko. Thank you for reminding so, me, about serum. me about the troop serum. I forgot all about that. Lads. This is a bottle of vodka. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. Get a couple of shots of that in somebody, and they'll tell you all their secrets. Thanks, Bosco. What proof of vodka? Whee! Yes, but the drunk you is not the real you either. Where are we going, Sam? There's a reason why inhibitions exist and stuff We're like off that. off to the White House. Oh, Even boy! Kami loves vodka. Comrade Kami adores the vodka. Bosco's truth serum is just a bottle of vodka. There we go. Care for a drink? No, thanks. I'm on an all-carb diet. No liquids. No. Then... Care for a drink? It's soda, right? You brought more soda. Nope. Here's... Sure, why not? And that's a big ass vodka. Wow, that's got more kick than the other ones. Thanks, Seven Max. You guys, you guys are my best friends. You're welcome. Now, can we get back to the deliberation? What's the point? You still think Peeper's idea is stupid? Stupid? Oh, because you like never songs. told me you thought my idea was stupid. He said your idea of adding Herbert Hoover hugging the four other presidents was the stupidest thing he'd ever heard. Well, it is. Hoover wasn't even a president, which means he certainly wasn't the most loving of all the presidents. Well, at least I didn't suggest putting a parking garage in George Washington's forehead, like some four-eyed freaks I know. You little... You big... Of course you realize this means war! 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 <laughs> Are you ready? What wondrous thing is this the Defcon Klaxon's ring? A 
<laughs> I just love Max. Encore! Encore! Okay. Stand aside, pal. The president needs to get into the war room. I'm afraid Is this how that I remember this puzzle? Perhaps Is this you puzzle didn't hear our so advisor. We would like to see our war room. No can do, sir. Orders. Why won't you let us into the war room again? Just following orders, sir. I can't let anyone into the room. No exceptions. Why won't you let us... Just following... Max says you can take a vacation. We will make an exception just this once. Thank you, sir. But Is no that the can do. We? I can only take a vacation on federal holidays. We'll be back. Roger that. Max, I mean His Excellency El Jefe Maximilian I, Intimidator of the Realm, has a special surprise for you. Better get those handkerchiefs ready. This could get sentimental. Agent Superball, we have decided to reward you for your excellent service to your country for your unwavering commitment to preventing us from being where we most desperately needed to be, for your unerring devotion to being a constant hindrance in our task. For all these things and more, we now dub thee Super Bowl. <laughs> Secretary of Meats and Cheeses, Mysterious Gases of the Interior, in charge of, <laughs> of the Interior. Secretary of the Interior. We already have one of those. Oh, exterior? We have one of those too. Fine, Secretary of the Posterior. Okay. <laughs> so we have spoken, so it shall be. All hail, Max. I'm overwhelmed, what sir. Does I don't know do? what to say. Now run along to a cabinet meeting. I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. You've got to be kidding me. I still have my orders. Boop. It's the official United States calendar. Twelve of the hottest Supreme Court justices in their skimpy, no, no. swimsuits. Even better, Max. You can actually change the official date. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oop. We now declare today April 26th, Secretary's Day. That's supposed to be Administrative Professionals Day. Wow, Sam. When I picked you for vice president, I didn't know you were such a politically correct, bleeding-heart liberal. 
All right, then. Secretary's Day. Wait, he's pre vice president. But in the second season, he's not vice president anymore. Fuck. Aww. I'm not a secretary, sir. That was fun! Max, I mean, his ex better get those handkerchiefs ready. Agent Superball, we have for your unwaved for your up for all the... Uh, gaseous emissions. Secretary of Mysterious Gaseous Emissions. All hail, Max. Hey, Supes. Today is Secretary's Day. You have to take the day off. It's the law, Jack! A vacation? Permission to weep openly, sir. Not just granted, but encouraged. Yay! The forces of bureaucracy win again. I love this country. You know how long that one took me for ever? Like the first time I remember. All right, let's have some fun finishing this chapter off. Sorry that took so long. These must be for the Joint Chiefs and other quasi-important hoo-hahs. <laughs> nice screensaver. And tomorrow, for the fuck of it, we will do... <laughs> and tomorrow, for the fuck of it, we will play the final chapter of this game. Ooh, food. It's a for the discriminating general with a sweet. It's a plate of fancy cookies. For the discriminating general with a sweet tooth and a taste for vengeance. Uh, we'll do the original Salmon Max, followed by the final episode of this one. Looks like a remote homing beacon in the fridge in Antarctic. So peaceful, so serene. Want to blow it up? You have to ask. Dinner special tonight? Penguin flambe! Who would have suspected the Washington Monument is really a self-replenishing supply of intercontinental ballistic missiles? It's good to see it used for something more useful than corny innuendo for once. I wonder if this will have a significant impact on our delicate ecosystem. Yes. Absolutely. My ego is bigger already. The homing beacon to the Kremlin doesn't seem to be working. Damn. It was probably turned off in the spirit of Glasnost. What? More likely those lazy commie bastards forgot to change the batteries. Lazy former commie bastards, Max. It's the distant, peaceful world of Krypton. They mock us with their utopian society of crystal cities and absentee parents. Beacon, they not be bacon. This'll teach him to put me in the phantom zone. How'd you get out? You will bow down before me. <laughs> Aw. Better pull up a chair, little buddy. Well, what do you know? Bosco was right. Bosco's always been right. He really has been targeting his store for destruction. Won't he be glad when we tell him? What do you say we keep this to ourselves, Max? You're right. We don't want to ruin the surprise. Oh, well, here's the surprise. Attention, Bosco shoppers. Clean up in aisle everything. Would you look at that? Bosco's satellite defense system actually works. Well played, Bosco. You're safe. But for how long? Where is it? It's behind something over there. What? What did I do wrong? Why are you looking at me like I'm crazy? you all my craziness Where are we means going, to Sam? End. back to the office Shotgun. but you all love me you all need me you all want me I also think about doing a now that I know that there's a bad a open world Kirby Novelty game coming gumbo. out next month your friends I'm thinking about doing a Kirby marathon all Kirby all the time Kirby, 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 he's the one you should know. Look, stuck to the camera. That must be the homing beacon for the intercontinental ballistic missiles aimed at Bosco's yes. store. What was that? Uh, he said, that must be the best price on baby wipes I've ever seen. 
Baby wipes feel so good on your ass after I'm like, okay, we're gonna stop there. Where are we going, Sam? I love the fact that Blow knows exactly what we're doing. After that rampaging Lincoln. Yes! He's more than you think. He's maximum pink! He's right back at ya. That was actually a very good series. Nice toss, Max. We'd better act fast before he manages to knock off the beacon. Or choose his own back off to escape. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh, boy! <laughs> I love the fact that everybody here actually knows the song. And I clicked out of the game again. Mother cocksucker. Kame doodling? Oh, Kame's doodling Kiki. That's a lewd Kiki. Such you. But yeah, they're doing a whole open world Kirby, and I'm going to play the hell out of it. After we play Sleeping with Pokemon the game. Ooh, Dunscap. Periscope situation. Look, Max, in the White House Garden Pond. It's Jimmy Two Teeth. We often allow lobbyists to use the pool, Sam. Jimmy's a lobbyist now? What's he lobbying for? Cheese interests? Affordable health care for the aged and underprivileged, Sam. He's a lot more multifaceted than you give him credit for. Yes, fully open world. You get to explore the entire world of uh, World Pop Star. Looks like the targeting beacon is still stuck on Lincoln. This is a pretty impressive temper tantrum, Sam. At this rate, he'll have enslaved all of DC and most of Baltimore by tomorrow morning. He gets. You're right, Max. Still, I think we should stop. Yeah, him. but I don't think he you're gonna like the plot. Got better to do. Jackals have taken over the world, and because of that, Kirby has to fight them back. And they're adorable too. Here it comes. I'm not lying. That's what I see on my web page. Mr. President? Don't mind if I do. Actually, it was Zelda first, Quick, then let's Mario. Go. Shouldn't we revel a little? We don't want to miss this. Zelda's always been open world, though. Well, well, I'll be that... my bidding, I am the most powerful presidential monument We really want to see him get hit by an ICBM. feeding laxatives to pigeons on parade days. We broke two presidents in one afternoon. A personal best. That makes well, me wonder, it looks what like happened the country if you is a laxative on pop for hypnosis. What do you want to do now? Let's abuse my powers as leader of the free world to squeeze the middle or class until they're burning their own shoes pigeons. for heat. Sounds fun, but I was thinking we could treat ourselves to some chocolate frosted gut bombs and then have a little target practice down to the Smithsonian. Sam, you're my best friend. Agent Chuckles, report. Query status. Lincoln Gambit, four score, stroke seven. Query not acknowledged and acceptable timeout parameters. Error. 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 Kiki, is that Error. you? Error. Error. All right, who wants to see me destroy the internet next? Or do you want me to save that for tomorrow? I'm going to decide. 
destroy the internet tonight. Do the do or save two episodes for tomorrow. What does the rest of you think? Save it for tomorrow or keep going? You're sure? I'll do both of them tomorrow. And then on Wednesday we'll do. Oh, tomorrow's, tomorrow is Wednesday. All right, then we're going to be calling it as soon as the credits are over, people, because I love you all. And then I'm going to go take a nice, long, hot shower. If you'd like to join me, please fill out an application in the next room. <coughs> well, it is going to be a bath, and then it's going to be a shower just to wash off all the suds. And Silver Shields, if you want to talk to me in private, you know what to do. I'll explain everything. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for tonight. We'll be back tomorrow to finish off the final two chapters in this series. So if you enjoyed the show and feel more thrilled for my entire time, Presenting to be scrubbed video, click the donate button, leave whatever the hell you think I'm worth. Any amount, any amount whatsoever, it helped me out greatly. You can also submit and subscribe, and if YouTube, feel free to like and subscribe. As I said, we'll be back tomorrow to finish this game off, so sweet dreams to everybody. I'll be up for a bit longer being totally it, so as always, always stay awesome, stay absolutely awesome, and Oreo, you have a great night at work. Good night, all, and stay awesome.